Okay, let's give this a look. I reset the Wi-Fi. It's been close to five minutes. We have not crashed. Uh, let me let me double check that. We have not crashed. Okay. So it's only been you know close to twenty minutes <laughs> since I first tried, but no. From the top, let's uh, show the achievements I got. Oh, don't tell me. Every time. No, it might have just been a buffer. Hold on. Give me a sec. Okay, it might have just been a buffer. Sorry. All right, from the top, gonna show every achievement that I got last time. And gonna show, uh, sorry, we're gonna, anyway, <laughs> go over what I ended with last time. So, first achievement, get the first magic key. Run away from a slime. Visit the, visit Urgic's grave. Get a puff puff. Obtain the fairy flu. I got those three these next three, and then I reset a save. Rescue the princess. Uh, uh, re uh, bring the princess back to the castle and get the princess's love. That's the main reason why I reset. And sleep with two other people in Ratatomi Town. After getting those three, I reset the save. Get all the items in the mountain cave. That's the one with the warrior's ring. That doesn't do anything. Obtain the stones of sunlight. Obtain the silver harp, and then trade that for the rain, uh, the staff of rain. We ended last stream last Thursday with an attempt at fighting the golem without the fairy flute. Died in like two hits. Is it a buffer or is it a crash? It was a buffer. It seems like a buffer. Okay, I'm okay with that. So yeah, uh, we tried to beat the golem without the fairy flute. Did not go well. And then I also tried to find fight the death knight. No luck. So we are at a point where I just need to level up. So what the plan is, we are going to go fight, try to fight and defeat a metal slime for this achievement. That is the plan. All right. Let's get this going again, because I should have been doing this for a while. Uh, is it a buffer or is it a crash? I have to double, I have to keep an eye out. Okay. It was just, it seems like it was just buffering. Here, let me, uh, yeah. Okay, it was probably just buffering. I can live with that. <clears throat> So, yeah, we have risen, we have continued our save, and we shall leave and try to level up. What level am I, anyway? I am level 14. I'm... I was looking up, like, not some strategies, but I was trying to look up some information, and I think we need to get to level 17. For... Uh, just to have a new spell, and that will help with fighting both of these guys. Anyway. So this early part of the stream is gonna just be level grinding. I hope this will go very fast. At least some of these enemies are easy to kill. But sadly, because I don't have the princess's love, I won't know how much how many how much EXP I need. That's the only, that's the one trade off that would be nice right now. But I don't want to have the princess's love right now because that requires returning to the castle, and I don't want to do that. All right. 
we want to cross the next bridge. We have, like, every equipable... We have, like, everything we would want when it, when it comes to equipment. The, the only other one we would probably want is the magic armor. Because we have the steel sword, which I believe that's the strongest sword at the moment. Steel armor. And the iron shield. I believe that's the best shield. And the steel armor. I mean, we could get the magic armor. And that would be nice. But it has this it has the same defense as the as the steel armor. However, like the benefit of having the magic armor it reduces some magical spells. We're kinda around the area where I'm gonna train. Getting close. Kinda cross comb the desert. And I'm not going to attempt the Death Knight. Not right now, because there's no way. We want to hang out probably in this mountain range. Alright. Two hits on the Undead Knight. It's been a few days because the streams kept crashing, so I don't remember everything, but let's be honest, Dragon Quest 1 doesn't have much to keep in mind. <laughs> Alright. I know I can use Stop Spell on some of these guys. However, when Aoi takes two hits to Kel, is it even worth it? I don't think so. Oh no, you healed yourself. You still died in two hits anyway. At least I'm getting decent gold from these guys. We could probably get the magic armor. It's gonna take a little bit, but yeah, while we're training, assuming I don't die, definitely gonna get the magic armor. Shadow Knights. Is that the one I need to keep an eye on? Yeah, it is. I need to heal up. Let's get another heal. Okay, it still takes two hits to kill him. Well, it probably... Actually, there might be a chance it could be three. Alright, uh, how much MP does it cost to cast return? Eight? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Because I can use that to get back to Ratatome. We are hoping to find a metal slime. Actually. Do I need to go down there? There's a metal slime. And he escaped. Alright. Well, we know it's here. Armor Knights. Does it still take three hits to kill? If so, it's definitely worth putting him to sleep. Nope, two hits. Only two hits. Then I'm just gonna attack him like normal. Magic Chimeras. Two hits. Yeah. The ones I really need to worry about is the Shadow... Uh, the Shadow Skeleton guy. Hmm. Oh! It's not guaranteed to be two hits. It can be three. Alright. Never mind. I need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, let's 
get more healing in. 69. All right. Shadow Knight did not see me. And of course I miss. Thanks. Just what I need. So far it's still two uh, two hits to kill him. So that's nice. Actually, since this guy could be three hits, still probably a good idea to put him to sleep. Or did I miss? Is that what happened? I don't know. The armor knight did not see me. 24 damage. Oh no, he tried stop spell, but it didn't work. Okay, still two hits. Alright. There we go. How much gold? I should check how much gold I have right now. Because if I could go buy the magic armor, I'll go and do that. gold. Almost 4,000? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I'm dead. Never mind. Yeah, honestly, the Shadow Knight can be annoying. Is it buffering or what? What's happening? Uh, it's buffering. All right. 474 experience. No, I will not save. Actually, I should have, but oh well. Yes, I will continue on the journey. How much gold do I have now? Ugh. So, one thing I should have done instead. Uh, I need to go to the town. Just the first town. Before I go back, let's deposit some gold. You can only put them in increments of a thousand. I don't think this is in the original NES version, but I could be wrong about that. There we go. So now if I die again, I still have a thousand gold left in the bank. I should have done that before heading over, but eh, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to work back. That's for sure. It's too bad that you cannot use war return or zoom, whatever, to go back to any other town you've been to. It's only the. Fr it's only Ratatome. Again, like first J, uh, first game syndrome, first of the basically the first of the genre syndrome, you know. And again, I don't think there's any better weapons I could get other than the armor, and even then, it's just magic uh, reducing. Which, against uh, the two bosses I need to fight, that's not what I need. Alright. About to cross the next bridge. Yeah, as you can kind of tell against, like, those Shadow Knights, 
I really need better healing. Ooh, gold man. Get me that gold. There we go. You get like uh, 650 gold. That, yeah, definitely worth it. I'm not going to warp back just to deposit it, but it's definitely worth it. Again, going to, going for EXP first and foremost. Gold is just there, honestly. Okay, good. And then twenty gold. Death scorpion. Don't remember fighting you. Still takes two hits to kill. Okay. Is it buffering? Yeah, it was just buffering. Okay. I am gonna throw up a heal. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm gonna hang out around here. Metal Slime? He attacked and then he escaped before I could do anything. He really did not want to fight me. Oh no, I fell asleep, but then I woke up, and then I dodged the second sleep. Okay. That's, that's interesting game. stream right now. Metal slime? Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm not liking this. Oh, come on. Really? Granted, he ran away on the third turn. I wouldn't have gotten the kill anyway. But that sucks. I got three attempts in. And all three missed. Ugh. That's why Mel Slimes are so annoying. Ideally, if you could get a critical hit on a Metal Slime, crits ignore enemy defenses, so you'll just get the kill. That is the ideal way to kill a Metal Slime. Can't rely on a crit, though. Oh, he got the jump on me, didn't he? Where am I at now? Okay, we'll keep it. Well, eh, getting close to 3,000. Yeah, the grind is real. Now, that is Dragon Quest for you. Okay, now it's not a two-bit KO on him. Hmm. That's weird. It's not like he takes damage when he's asleep. It's not like putting him to sleep, you know, deals like 10 HP on him. Metal Slime. And he ran. Is the Metal Slime going to be, like, one of the last achievements I'm going to end up getting? Because it just keeps running away. Anyway. Metal 
Vile Slime. Let's go. One damage. Two damage. No. Three damage. If he, if I didn't miss, that would have been the kill. Uh, okay. That's the annoying part, isn't it? I think Metal Slimes might be more annoying to kill in Dragon Quest 1. Now that I'm really thinking about it. Yay, level up. Level 15. Our strength increase, speed, vitality... HP and MP. MP only went up by one. And we got Repel. There we go. So now on my way here, I could just not ha use Holy Water. So now it should be a guaranteed two-hit KO. Yeah, I think it's a guaranteed two-hit now. That's reassuring. I want to use eight. I want to have eight MP for return. Magic Chimeras! I missed. Hmm, okay. Yeah, now that I'm really thinking about it, Metal Slimes are really annoying in Dragon Quest 1. Because starting with 2, you actually have multiple party members. And, you know, you can have all of your party members attack a single sl metal slime, meaning you could potentially deal three damage in a single turn before it has a chan another chance to run away. Dragon Quest 1, with only one, one unit. Ugh, yeah, I, I see why this would actually be hard. There's the crit. Needed that on the metal slime. I right, better heal. Yeah, let's get another heal in. When I return back to the castle, I'll probably make a save. There's no way that's guaranteed one hit KO. There's no way. I might have just got a hit, got a damage range. It seems like it's a damage range, but sometimes I think it was a three hit KO, very rarely, but now I think it's a more guaranteed two hit KO, sometimes a one hit. And that is worth it. Let's get a heal in. Magic Chimeras. Here we go. Easy. As far as I can tell, this is the best spot to grind right now, so. Molly, you're okay. You're okay. You know, every time I, like, glance at the stream, I get worried it's about to crash, but no, it's just buffering. Like, I'll live with buffering, but every time I glance over, it just seems like it might crash soon, but so far, we're fine. Slime. Ran. Okay. I'm not surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. It's just kind of annoying. I need to kill it. I need to get one kill. Alright. 
Again, I think we need like two more levels to really attempt the two boss fights now, but could be wrong. Yeah, we'll get one more spell in. As you can see, we only have one more field spell to get. But I think there's only two more spells left. Every time. Every time I just glance over and it just seems like it's about to crash. But no, it's just... I mean, it's fine, but... Ugh. Give me a scare every time. Again, I did not stream Friday or yesterday only because the screen the, the stream kept crashing. It would crash like four times before I even freaking loaded up the game, pretty much. There we go. Again, I want... 8 MP? Yeah, I think the next time I need to heal, I'll just cast Return. Yeah, okay. Um... 5,000 gold? That's pretty good. We kind of want around 8,000. Probably one more enemy. Probably. And there's the crit. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to cast Return. There we go. And there, again, there's no reason to use an end when you could just talk to the guy to refill your MP. Refi refill my MP, good sir. There we go. All right, spend some time healing, get to max. Is that my max? Uh, good sir, refill my MP once again. There we go. Max MP, max HP. Let's go back to the town and deposit my 5,000 gold. So I should have 6,000. So another level grinding session like that without dying. I should be able to go and get the magic armor. First, let's go deposit. Deposit. Gold. I'm just gonna put all 5,000. Again, you should be able to take out the gold golem. Or, not the gold golem, just the golem. At this point in the game, with the fairy flu. But the achievement's like, no, 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 you gotta do hard mode. This is the challenge run now. Like, okay. Wait, uh, how much does it cost to use for that? Oh, only two MP? Hell yeah. Totally worth it to at least use one. Just until we get to where the metal slimes are. 
And that's kind of why I didn't want to buy uh, Magic Waters. It's a decent amount. Probably would want to use two, but eh, I think I'll be fine. But yeah, that's kind of the main reason. I didn't want to waste my gold on magic water that you have to use a magic key to get into. And just, uh, no. When I knew I was going to get a spell that does the same thing. I don't know, not worth it in my opinion. They're one-hit KOs anyway at this point in the game. And sure, is it worth fighting? No, but... But, you know, like three experience is three experience. There's the crit. Alright. Magic Chimera's... Still t everything's basically a two-hit KO. Sometimes a Shadow Knight can be a one-hit KO. So I have 6,000 in there. Just a couple more fights, and I will actually have enough for the Magic Armor. Probably about five more, or less, actually, probably. So I think Shadow Knights have exactly 37 HP. But right now it's a range for me, so it is definitely mostly a two-hit KO. Right. Like two more fights, maybe. Nope, no luck. And again, speed's not really a factor in this game. I think, actually, no, I think there is a speed stat. Okay, there is an agility stat. I thought agility just affects evasion, but no, I think if you're significantly significantly higher speed than the opponent, then you will just guaranteed to go first. But most of the time, it feels like it's kind of random. There you go. One more fight, and magic armor is guaranteed, unless I die. Oh, I should just fight one of the bosses. I was trying to... I was going to... I did say I wanted to get a level and then try the boss fights. But I do think we probably just need to get the next spell to play it safe. How about when I get the magic armor, we'll give it a... We'll give it a shot. Whether I have the next spell or not. At the very least, we'll try the Death Knight. I don't know about the Golem. If I can't beat the Death Knight, I can't beat the Golem. Metal Slime? Ran. Of course he did. I'm not surprised. It's just annoying. don't think I'll heal. I'll give it a, another fight. Okay, I thought he would exactly have, like, 60 health, but no, he has a little bit less. So 
So when I saw 29, I'm like, oh, is it a three hit KO? But no, I think he maybe has more like 58. Here we go, Shadow Knight. One hit KO. Yay, level 16. That didn't take long. Strength of 4, speed of 6, vitality of 3, HP of 6, MP by 21. That was way... Last time I got, like, an MP boost of 1. One more spell. Or one more level, and that should get me the spell. Definitely have the gold. Again, at this point now, it's either I do the level grinding session and get to level 17, then I'll go grab the magic armor, or um, or if I need to return to the castle anyway, then I'll go grab the magic armor. Whatever comes first at this point. But that did not take that long. And I still haven't got a Metal Slime kill. Still don't have that kill yet. I forget how much EXP a Metal Slime gives you. I feel like it's like a thousand. Like, it's a ridiculous number. If you manage to kill one. Not necessarily guaranteed to level up, but it'll jump you up there. That's for sure. But now with these extra level ups, I could definitely make it to the golem a lot safer. That does help. And that's the entire point, you know? You go to the golem... You die, you walk back, and on your way back, you fight more enemies to get more experience. And that extra EXP will eventually get you a level, which means you can kill the enemies a lot better, even if you don't kill the golem, making it easier and easier. Granted, I'm pretty sure I could probably take out the golem with the fairy flute. <laughs> like, I don't need this EXP. At least I don't think so. I wonder if we should fight... We could go into the swamp and fight green dragons, but honestly, I need to attempt the metal slime kills, and I don't think metal slimes are in the swamp. I do need to go in the swamp eventually, but... No, we'll save it for later. Still two hit KO for these guys, right? Yeah, it is. But again, I think it's now just a... I'm not worried about a potential low damage roll. Even though I don't even think that was a possibility. That was level 15. Okay, one damage. I got a crit! There we go! <laughs> Yay, I got the Metal Slime kill. 775 EXP. Only 6 gold, though. Oh, finally. Here, let me... Refresh the page. There we go! We defeated a Metal Slime! I got the achievement. Now I have to keep this stream. <laughs> Alright. We still have not leveled up yet. 
but with that kill, we should be close. Probably just a few more fights. It shouldn't take much longer now. Metal Slime. Yeah, at this point with Metal Slimes, you kind of need to hope for a crit, don't you? I mean, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Last time I got the crit, this time I missed three times before it runs away. What is with my accuracy right now? Okay, I died. No, seriously, what was with my accuracy? I still need 2,000 EXP. Yeah, we'll save. Anyway, let's go and grab the magic armor. I mean, look, I could have healed in mid-battle, but let's be honest, it was just a single hit, and I would have gotten the kill. Why would I not think to just get the kill and then heal afterwards? How was I supposed to know I was going to miss three times in a row? Okay, I got 2,000. Because, you know, lose half gold. Now I am carrying 8k. Let's go get ourselves some magic armor. It is slightly... It is better. Let's just use repel. I don't... Th I don't really need to fight anything on, along the way. Once I get the magic armor, I'll make a save, and then we'll go back to level grinding. Actually, no. Not level grinding. We'll go back and, uh... Give... The Death Knight in attempt. There we go. Even though I think I still might need one more level to give the Death Knight a proper attempt. As you saw, 2000 EXP. Again, don't really need to use Radiant. It's just nice to have more visual. Because <laughs> this is dumb. I don't remember it saying uh, Repel War Off. Does it just not work when you... Or maybe it resets uh, all sp extra spells when you enter a dungeon or something. Or maybe these guys aren't weak enough? Hmm. Anyway. Alright, let's try using Repel again. Yeah, nothing. Good. Let's go buy magic armor. Alright. Weapon shop. Buy. And... Magic armor. Still the same defense. Yes, I would like to equip it. I shall sell the steel armor... As well. And we might as well stock up on magic keys while I'm here. Might as well have a full six on me, you know? And here we go. Yes, I would like to buy one. I would like to buy another one. 
There we go, that's it. Alright. Now that that's done, let's cast Return. How much gold do I have? I have 2,000. Okay. It's a good idea to put your gold in the... Because there's still stuff I want to buy. Eventually, once we make it to the next town. So, you know, might as well not lose this if I die again. You know, if I miss three times in a row. Sounds like a ad in my. It sounds like an ad to me. I do not appreciate that. All right. Let's see. Let's. I don't think I need to know, but might as well. Refill my MP, good sir. All right, I might as well make a save. That way I have the magic armor. I'm here anyway. I have returned. I still need more than 2,000 EXP to level up. That was recorded, like, continue, yes. All right, let's attempt the Death Knight. Go and attempt. Uh, I think I'll save my MP. Everything's basically a one-hit kill anyway. I think the magic armor, all it all it does is. Oh no! I think it refills your HP. Now that I'm thinking about it, I know it. Uh, sorry. Uh, I know it reduces magic damage from certain spells. But I think it also gives me, like, one point of HP every, like, four steps. Uh, all spell damage is reduced uh, by one-fourth instead of one-third. And then one HP every four steps on the field. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, so it's definitely worth having for the HP heal. It'll definitely make uh, fights a lot easier get some HP back when I'm walking around. Jeez, he, the skeleton even got a jump on me, but, you know, I'm too fast for him. I can dodge. You know, at some point, I might stock up on medicinal herbs. Just to have a maxed out set. Because it's not too bad to have when you're in a dungeon and you don't want to spend MP. But it is the same as a basic heal. Ooh, gold man. Three... All right, still three hit KO on him. Eh, only a thousand uh, gold, not worth it. Uh, it, okay, so it can be a two hit KO. All right. 
Let's go back to the Death Knight. Now, again, you're supposed to learn about this in the next town. I want to give it a shot. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Demon Knight. Sleep won't work on him. It's really just attack and heal. And I got a crit. Well, that helps. <laughs> okay. So once you kill him, you want to examine this. We got the armor of Erdrick. There we go. Perfect. And with that, we did get an achievement. Find the legendary armor of Erdrick. All right. Now I'm more willing to test out the uh, the fight against the golem. All right. Let's go and equip. So we get an extra four defense. You know what? Let me pull up the stats. Uh, Ur Erdrick. Erdrick's armor. Oh, I know specifically what it does. Okay. As heals HP with every step. Negates damage from swamps and other damaging tiles. Does it not reduce magic? Doesn't I thought it would reduce magic damage too. Hold on, let me check this site. It's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Okay, fine, whatever. It doesn't seem like it has Uh, magic redu reducing, but I, I I would think it does. Oh no, it does reduce magic and breath damage. And one it restores one HP per step. So it's, it's just, it's the same thing as the magic armor, but more defense, better HP heal per step, and I think maybe a better magic reducing thing. However, I still want to keep my magic armor. I still want to keep this. I'm not going to get rid of it. Only, like, okay. If I wasn't doing, like, this whole uh, achievement thing, I would have totally sold it. <laughs> I would totally sell it sell it but for now i want to actually keep it oh yeah i'm getting my hp back every step all right let's go attempt the let's go attempt the golem oh roll granted the crit helped <laughs> the crit really helped Ooh, metal slime. No. Still no. I only got one hit in. Well, two hits now. And it ran. You know, if I didn't miss those two times, I would have gotten the kill. That's the annoying part, isn't it? Knowing you would have gotten the kill if it wasn't for accuracy. Pesky accuracy. And he ran. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go past the first bridge. Alright. 
Shadow Knight should be a one-hit kill. Oh, no, not this one. It can be. A, it's still a range, I guess. All right. Random encounter. Yeah, I'm get, okay, I'm going to need to use a heal spell. All right. So, but I think we should just treat this like a regular fight. Attack and heal. That's it. 30 damage. He dealt like 40. Wow. Okay, time to heal. Let's get another heal in. Am I hoping for another... I can't keep this up. There it is. <coughs> I should have gone in for the attack. I should have gone in for the attack. Still need 15k for... 1500 actually sorry okay. yeah we'll continue and i made the save it was totally worth it i got the urchic armor how much gold do i have all right you know what i think i will stock up on medicinal herbs why not it's not gonna hurt anything and then i'll probably throw in my gold into the vault uh, n that's the weapon shop. Where's the item? item shop's down here. Granted, you don't, you don't need them. It's just better to have them and not need them, you know? Well, I just keep stock. Uh, I think you can hold up to six. Should be six. Let me try it again. Can't hold any more. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to throw the magic armor in storage as well. I don't need it uh, holding my inventory right now. So first, let's just throw in my gold. Deposit. Items. Magic armor. I should only have three items in the storage right now. That's fine. Alright, now we'll head back. And that, I can't keep up with the healing. I really can't. And I don't have the speed to dodge. So I think it's just best to get that one level. I think that will be for the best. I don't have to fight the Death Knight again. Uh, should I go fight green dragons in the swamp? I'm not going to get hurt in the swamp. Hmm, I don't know. Nah, you know what? If metal slimes are not in the swamp, I think I still want a shot of killing another metal slime to make it go faster. If, you know, if, you know, I get the kill. Hopefully, once I beat the golem, I won't need to do, like, a level grinding set for a little bit. Not until I probably need to fight the dragon lord. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need to level grind for the dragon lord. Come on. 
counter array is a little ridiculous sometimes. There we go. Yeah, let's just level grind for a little bit. And getting Erdrix armor. This is the best armor, by the way. So, there is nothing stronger, defensive-wise. And even if there was, let's be honest, that magic redu uh, reduction and the healing every step is way better than, like, what, potential extra two defense. No, it's worth it. There we go. At least I didn't miss three times. That's better. Hey, Hawkorn Dog, how's it going? Yeah, uh, nothing's better than the Erdrick armor. Been a few days, Hawkorn Dog. The stream just, I finally got the stream to, you know, not crash. Yeah, uh, true power armor of the game, pretty much. Uh, I'll reiterate. So, I, when I got to level 16, I bought myself the magic armor, which I still kept. It's just, in, I put it in storage. Uh, and then I went to fight the the Demon Knight. And I managed to win. Granted, I did get a crit. That probably had something to do with it. But, you know, I still got the kill anyway. It wins a win. And then if you search the ground behind where the Death Knight was, that's where Erdrick's armor is. Granted, you're not supposed to know it's there until, like, the next town that's guarded by the Golem. But, you know... Again, you could do a lot of this game out of order without... Uh, people telling you what to do oh and to show might as well show might as well. hold on i got i defeated a metal slime and i got the achievement for erdrick's armor well yeah it's going fine uh yeah i did not end up streaming friday and you know yesterday because the stream just kept crashing and actually, it just kept crashing today, too. But I decided, no, let's try unplugging my Wi-Fi and plugging it back in, and then I give it another go. And so far, we haven't had a crash. But, you know, every time I look at the stream on my laptop, I see it buffering, and I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, Erdrick's armor reduces magic damage, or maybe some certain magic damage. Wait, the only magical attacks are fire. Anyway, so it reduces magic and breath damage by a certain amount. I can't get an exact number. Uh, it recovers HP on the field for every step I take. And it's just better defense. So, And also, I don't take damage from swamps now. So yeah, there is... Absolutely nothing better than the Urgic armor. I'm pretty sure the only armor you can buy in the next town is the magic armor. And that's just not as good. Again, I kept the magic armor. I put it in storage because I will need it. But for now, uh, we'll just use Urgic armor. I gave the golem another shot, but I he deal he deals like 40 damage per hit, and I can't keep up. So we need like one more level. Oh yeah, what's been going on, Hawkhorn Dog? Basically, spent this entire time just level grinding. I've made some progress so far. Gotta be kidding close. A single point of damage. Two. Well, yeah, it ran. Again, if I did not miss, that would have been another Metal Slime kill. Again, when I got the kill, I managed to get a critical hit. And that's why I won. 
Because crits just ignore enemy defense. And that's how you're probably just going to get Metal Slime kills a good amount of the time. Yeah, like 770 EXP is still pretty good for a single kill, if you manage to do it. Gotta be getting close to leveling up. Nope, missed. Not yet. I needed like 1500 EXP. Playing Fallout and played some Overwatch since the new season drop. Ah. There we go! There's level 17. We get speed, vitality, HP and MP, and we learned heal more. And that's what I was waiting for. That's what we need for the golem. It's just a better HP recovery. But yeah, on my own time, uh, I've been playing... Well, I got Metroid Prime Remastered and I was playing through that. Uh, I've been like juggling a couple games depending on what I have access to at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, Metroid Prime Remastered. I have Tales of Arise. And I also have... Z I also got Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, yeah, I'm juggling a lot of games. <laughs> you know, two big RPGs right there. That's going to last me a while. Almost to the golem. Oh, like, Metroid Prime is a great game. To be honest, though, like, I was trying to go for 100%, and when I was at the point where I could actually explore everything, I still only got, like, 80% of the collectibles, apparently. I still don't know, like, where everything is. Ads? Okay. Hold on. Oh, a green dragon. Perfect. Okay, green dragons now take three hits. I better go with heal more. Eight MP. Yeah. It's not a full heal, but... It's damn good. Alright. Let's try the golem. Now I should be able to keep up with it. With my healing. Two. And it still deals about 40 damage. Wow, that's a lot of H HP. I seem to be faster than the golem. We beat the golem! So we got that achievement, and... We got both of them. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's very strong. So, hold on. Let me pull this up. So, we got two achievements for that. Beat the golem. Just in general. Usually, you need the fairy flute. And then beat the golem without the fairy flute. That was the missable one. So, that's important to get. Alright. Now, the golem is like... I don't think it will ever respawn. So yeah, it's a good thing to get rid of that. But we finally made it to the final town. 
The, the fortress city of Malkido. We got a weapon shop here. But yeah, Metroid Prime, like, no, it is a fun time. I still don't know where everything is, though, and I did, like, a run-through of, like, trying to find everything. Oh, now he decides to move down. Weapon shop? What do we got? Why do you have, like, the basic stuff? <laughs> like, why do you have the basic stuff, dude? No, I will not buy anything from you. You are worthless to me. Okay, we got the inn. I don't need that. Well, maybe for MP. We found a defense seed. Man, that would have been nice against the golem. There we go. Plus four. Seems that Roto armor has changed hands quite often. It, is, it has most recently come, come to possession of Yukinoth. Uh, are you sure about that, dude? Again, you're supposed to come in here without having the armor yet. The King Dragon's Claws can cut through iron, and he can breathe fire hot hot enough to melt stone. Scotland, do you still wish to move forward? Yes. Oh, you are a true hero. Uh, the new season of Overwatch is going to have that type of story, where the bad guys are good, and the good guys are bad. Role reversal. Is it more of a... Is it just kind of like an injustice sort of thing? Or is it something else to it? That's good. No one will say that you are a coward. Except you, apparently. Ooh, another vault. We have two vaults here. That's nice. And apparently they share the same, uh, they share all my stuff. I wonder what side dishes I should cook up for supper. What do you, what do you sell? An item shop. Dragon scales and wings of chimera. Okay. What do you sell? Cheap radishes today. What? Sir, you saw my shop, but you don't want any fine radishes? Then the shop you want is the item shop over there. Okay. No, I want to talk to you. This town was built as a fortress just in case it was attacked by demons. Good to know. Let's not waste two magic keys. My family opened a business and set up shop in Domdura. Or Domdora. My grandfather, Yukinov, was there when the town was attacked by monsters. Oh, it's been a long time then. Since the town got destroyed. From what I remember, he barely escaped with his life and made his way here. But prior to that, he ran a business a bustling shop and was very profitable. So with his savings, I I'm living a help a happy life. What? Where was that place? Not sure. I think it was on the eastern part of town. Not like injustice, it's just where we're reversal for that mode. Whatever. I got that. The characters will get new skills and weapons that they normally wouldn't use. Oh, okay. So the implication is you were told by the other guy that Yukinov had Urdric's armor. And he tells you that the shop was on the eastern part of town. If that's all the information you get... Oh, we got a magic key. Good. If that's all the information you get, that's supposed to be your hint about where the Urdric's, where Urdric's armor actually is. I don't know if that's a good hint, but, you know, that's the best you got. If you wish to know about the token, visit the old man living in the temple at the south end of town. Yeah, we do need the token. And we don't take damage from this because we have Erdrick's armor. Let us pray for the hero. May the light always be with you. From search the place near Ratatomi Castle that lies 140 to the north and 80 to the west. So that's why we need the princess's love. Because it tells you how far away you are from the castle. And you need to go to those exact coordinates to find... Erdrick's token. So that's the point of Erdrick's love, or the princess's love, but you don't need it. The older the game, the more cryptic the info. Yeah, pretty much. What do we got here? Iron axe, steel sword, which I currently have, steel armor, no, and magic armor. See, there's no better armor. This is the final town.
Would you like to buy some holy water and ward off monsters? No, I'm good. At least I don't need a magic key to buy it from her. At least that's the good thing. Okay, what, what do we got in here? We found a magic nut. My max MP has increased by four. Very nice. Alright. These are the graves of the people who died after they were attacked by the by King Dragon's minions. Please, I ask you to pay your respects to the fallen. Can you examine them? Nope. Just examine the ground. What do you got? Long ago, my grandfather told me many stories. I remember hearing that one of his friends, Yukinov, buried a great treasure under a tree in the back of his shop. There it is. What was the treasure? I would like to search for it, but it's too dangerous to travel for me. There you go. So with those three info, with all three of that info combined, that's how you're supposed to figure out where Erdrich's armor is. So hey, the game tells you what you need to do. Doomfist is going to get a shield in the game mode. Normally, he's a super offensive tank. All of his skills are movement-based, and he's hard to he's hard to tank to master since you want to apply pressure consistently. Hmm. Why hurts new stuff in the mode? If he's got anything new. Do you, is he going to get anything new? Do you know? Again, as someone who doesn't play Overwatch... Uh, let's check up here first. Long ago, when the world was wrapped in darkness, a man descended from the sky. That man was the legendary warrior Roto, or Erdrich. If that's true, Erdrich could be indeed, could indeed, indeed be a child of the gods. I like how this game sets up a lot about Erdrich that will actually be explained at some point. Would you like a magic key? Yeah, I'm gonna replace the one I already just spent. Oh, I already used it too. Right, okay. It's fine. Weapon shop. And here you go. The flame sword and the mirror shield. We... Okay. Okay. At some point, I will want to get both of them. I will want to get both of these. The mirror shield is definitely more important, but we will want both. Well, actually, no. Like, more damage is nice. But definitely the mirror... The, yeah, anyway. We'll probably get something that'll make him more offensive since in the base game, he's mostly a passive tank in the game. It did buff him this season. He now stuns enemies longer and his range is... Fat kills. Okay. Flame sword not as good as lightning copper sword. No, not yet. Uh, we're working on it. But, you know, that's why the lightning copper sword is better. You know? They're both plasma based, but lightning's better than fire. See? Anyway. Eventually, we will want to get both of them. Let's see. Let's go and... Well, first I'm going to deposit this gold. There we go. How much gold do I have in there? 6,000? Not enough to get either. Oh yeah, that's probably going to be the main goal. Nothing else to explore in this town. But let's go grab Erdrich's token. And honestly, if you're going to level grind, you're pro I'd probably just go south of here. And then just rest of the inn whenever you need healing and more magic. It's better than warping all the way back. And then having to walk all the way back here. At a certain point, it's just like... What's more important? Not spending money... Or the time it takes to get all the way back here, you know? So 
So yeah, let's go and find Erdrick's token. Now, you're supposed to uh, bring the princess back to the king and get the princess's love. That way you can just use princess's love and it will tell you how far away you are from the castle. That's how you're supposed to find it. Oh, wow, yeah, dragons aren't that... Uh, thank you, Erdrick's armor, for making fire breath damage, only like 11 damage. All right. So now if we explore over here-ish, check the ground. No. It's in this section of the swamp. I forget the exact tile. There it is. I found Erdrick's token. Or the token of Roto. Whatever. There it is. That is proof that you are descendant of the hero. So yeah, it's right in the spot. That's where the token is. And again, you don't need the princess's love. And that was also another achievement. You know, we... Even though I need a money grind. The token... You could get is one of those good prices. <laughs> yeah, it's just a Chuck E. Cheese token you can get. A new character. They add a new character called Venture. I don't play the character too much. Anytime I play, game makes it either support or tank in, like DPS. Is it another support or tank character they added in? I mean, I would at least give give the new character to try to see if you like him in the first place. But that, I'm now wondering how many of each character per, like, let's just say job class are there in Overwatch? Like, how many characters are tanks? How many characters are DPS? You know what I mean? They add a new character every season or two. Okay. But yeah, how many characters are DPS? How many characters are tanks? Like, what's the ratio? You know what I mean? All right. How much gold do I have? It's not going to be enough to buy anything. Okay, we are kind of at the point where I'm level grinding. However, okay, you know what? I know what we can do. First, I'm gonna, de oh, okay, I'm gonna deposit my gold. So I should have 7,000 7, in there, but I wanna grab First, I want to grab the Sap of Rain and the Stone of Sunlight. Support has 10, tanks have 12, DPS has 17, but with the new character, it's 18. Alright, so there's still a lot of DPS characters. Anyway, uh, let's use Return. And I might as well get my MP back. So at least, so in that case, there is way more uh, DPS than anything else. It's basically a... Uh, it's almost like a two-to-one sort of thing. Or I should say, like, half of the game is DPS, the other half is split between tanks and supports. And honestly, that might be the better way to div divvy up something like this, in terms of, uh, characters, uh, niche, not niches, anyway. 
So for now, we have the three, uh, we have everything we need. The token of Erdrick, the staff of rain, and the stones of sunlight. So now we can actually head to, uh, the final castle. First, we need to try the new character in the trial, and they they did last season. Venture is Venture isn't bad. I'm not gonna play the character since the playstyle is, eh, eh, it's all right. Not every character is for everyone. You just gotta find that one character, the one or two characters that is ju is just for you. Should double check what achievements I need, but uh, let's see. I don't think there's many more that I need. Okay, there, I mean, there, two, four, six, eight. There's like 11 more achievements for Dragon Quest 1. But we're kind of at the point where it's like, we basically need to money and level grind, more or less. Come on, where is it? Where's it? There we go. So when you enter the game, each team gets one tank, two DPS, and two support characters. Okay. And you can't deviate from that. So is it one of those cases where you enter a team and if someone's already decided that they're the two DPS and two supports are already taken, you ha you have to pick the tank. I guess that means you just have to get used to playing as maybe not every character, but a lot of characters. Level 18. Strength by 13, speed by 5, vitality by 3, HP by 15, and MP by 7. We do need one more spell. There's only one more spell left, but I think we need to be around... I don't remember if we need to be 19 or 20 to get that final spell. South of Rimudal, and we cross this bridge. Ah, almost there. All right, made it to the monolith. So now we talk to this guy. Descendant of the great hero R Roto. Now it is time when rain and sun will join. Now give me the staff of rain and stones of sunlight. You needed the, you needed the token of Erdrick, just so he's like, oh, you are. That is proof that you are the hero of legend. And you also need the staff of rain and stones of sunlight for him to do his thing. You hand both the Staff of Rain and Stones of Sunlight to him. Oh, gods, I offer rain and sun to this holy altar. Now approach the altar and take the rainbow drop. No, so when you play either unrank or rank, when you get the option to choose the roles that you want. Oh, okay. 
And so you'll just end up in a team that's just missing that type, I guess. So yeah, there's the uh, rainbow drop achievement right there. All right, and with the rainbow drop, we can now go to the final dungeon. The final castle, we could go fight the Dragon Lord. Or, no. It's the attempt to fight the Dragon Lord. How much gold do I have? If I put it in storage, that's 8,000. If I have 10,000, I could get the Flame Sword. Hmm. That's the thing. Getting the shield means I can tank more, but getting the sword means I can kill faster. Kill more things. I don't know. When you choose the role you want, then you get into a queue. Support is the fastest, DPS is the slowest, and tanks is in the middle. That Honestly, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense to me. I'm guessing more people want to play DPS, so that's why you're probably less likely to get into a match. And so not many people play support, so you're very likely to get into a match. And tanks the in-between. That makes sense to me. <sighs> Random encounters. But I need this I need the EXP. Almost there. So once we make it here, we use the rainbow drop. And we built the, we got a bit bridge. It's supposed to be a rainbow bridge, I think. the page. Here we go. Build the rainbow bridge. Yeah, I knew we could get those right now. And off to the final dungeon. Ah, oh, come on. While we're going to the final dungeon, I'm gonna try my best to... I wanna take the opportunity to take multiple trips into the castle. Really, the first one or two attempts is to mostly just find every treasure. That gives me more experience, more gold, as the more attempts I, I go in. I still need to buy a shield. Uh, the mirror shield. And I will need to buy the flame sword. So yeah, we're going to take a few attempts. Okay. Alright, I forget which way I have to go. Oh, and make sure you've stocked up on magic keys. You're gonna need them. Hey, look, it's demon knights. Now they're just regular enemies. Isn't that fun? There we go. At least support and tank have been tied since no one wants to play tank. Since the role just feels... Mm, just feels bad, man. Uh, you're the most valuable role in the game, but you spend most of the time being at the complete mercy of your support. Reinhardt in particular is currently the worst tank of the game. Ugh. Let's use a Kinko down here. Again, this is more of a treasure run. Oh. Radiant. Radiant. 
Why is Reinhardt the ro the worst tank? Dragons take like two or three hits. Okay, the left spot is a dead end. I saw a treasure chest down there. I will want to go down there. Luckily, Urgic's armor is just making this a lot tolerable. Anyway. Oh, going left just... Oh, maybe I need to cast Stop Spell? No, it's still two, two hits to kill. Uh, let me go back and take the right path. That should lead me to another staircase. So going through that door is a complete waste of time and a waste of a magic key. I know there are a few dead ends here, but I don't have this place memorized. Master Wizard! He gads, what shall I do? Alright. Through here. Radiant? Alright, well, anything on this staircase set? So far, the enemies not, are not that bad. We're fighting some stronger enemies, but I'm getting my HP back from walking. Okay, south's a dead end. Oh, I want to fight more Master Wizards. Firebang? Eh, not a big deal. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, nothing really. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh no, you tried to stop me from using spells, but you missed. And it was a waste of a turn for you. Okay. Both pathways are just dead ends. I thought one of the pathways had treasure. I thought for sure one of them had treasure. But anyway. So, you know, on your first playthrough, you're just exploring and you're like, well, there's dead ends. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, come on. Uh, am I going to die here? I almost died. Alright, I'm gonna cast heal more. Okay, it's not full heal, but yeah, it, it recovers like 70 HP. Freaking put me to sleep. So yeah, on your first playthrough, you're exploring around, you're checking these side areas, and you're thinking, oh, there's probably treasure, and they're both just dead ends with nothing there. 
And it's like, that's weird. But then you go here, fight random encounters, you know, because that's how you normally do. Oh, that was a full heal. All right. And all that's left is the throne. So you're thinking, what gives? Like, where am I supposed to go? Where's the Dragon Lord? And then I forget which town says this. But one of the NPCs told you about this. That dragons are in the are in the castle. No. That's not what they said. Check behind the throne. And we found a hidden staircase. Okay, that's not supposed to look like that. So you need at least one magic key for that door. Dead end. Let's see. Again, we're doing treasure run. I was going to say, I think this is the rest of the dungeon's pretty straightforward, but no, I remember there's a, like, a split pathway somewhere. Let's take, let's take the south path. Nope, dead end. Oh, no. Cast sleep on me? No! Okay, well, I got him. I don't think I need heal more. Actually, you know what? I will cast heal more. Only because if I get caught in a loop like that again, I will die. Is this the one I want to take? First staircase. I know there's a split, and I forget where it was. Oh, Stone Man. Yeah, now we're fighting tougher enemies. Ooh. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to cast outside and return soon. What is my goal? 6,000. And I had 7,000. I'm close to buying the mirror shield. Very close. Ooh, wait, a kiss dragon. Okay. I, th I think they're just called blue dragons. In the other, in the American version. Still takes three hits to kill. Okay, we'll keep going. I don't think I need heal more just yet. Uh, am I just going in a big circle? Again, I don't think I need healing. Not yet. So we'll keep going. Up, oh, dead end. Yeah, this is going to be the place to grind. Just make a few runs at the Dragon Lord. Yeah, so man, jeez, they have They have a lot of defense and HP, don't they? Level 19, strength has increased by 2, speed has increased by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 15, MP by 6, and we learned the final final spell, Firebane, which is a better fireball. And with that, we got another achievement. 
Are you a wizard, Harry? We've learned every spell in the game. Again, Dragon Quest 1, very simple. Um, that's where I started, didn't I? No, wait, no. That's... That's right. I want to go downstairs, but what's up here? Dead end. Okay. This is the correct path. It got more menacing. You know you're making progress. Ooh, treasure! 501 gold. We found a medicinal herb, but I can't hold it. Yeah, but I gave up on it. Oh well, it's just a medicinal herb. It's not, I'm not missing anything. They're 10 gold. It's 10 gold to buy one, it's not a big deal. Still takes three hits for these guys, most likely. Yeah, I figured. Maybe there's a chance for it to be a two-hit KO. But I'm pretty sure it's a three still. Not unless I have like the flame sword, maybe. the wall. I'm probably going to need to use heal more after this. Yeah, I got to heal more. Yeah, honestly, this dungeon is almost a gauntlet. Just trying to get you to waste as much MP as possible so you just don't have that much for the final boss. stairs for a second. Nope, dead end. Okay, we'll take the stairs then. Hmm. Right, I think there's two pathways here. And I think this is the split. There's the upper... Or Yep, okay. You can either go downstairs or you can go upstairs. This is the split I think I was thinking of. Take the upper path. I don't remember if this is the way I wanted to go, but we'll find out. More demon knights! found a treasure. We found the Sword of Erdrich. The strongest sword in the game. Why was it in the castle? In the final castle? Did he, uh, did, uh, uh, did the Dragon Lord steal it? But look at that. Look at that. A 20 point attack buff. Yeah. It's a good thing I went there. Oh, and with that... Get that to refresh. There it is. Find the Sword of Erdrich. I still want to get myself the Flame Sword.
Oh, that was like the most imp important treasure to find. And that's also the main reason I was thinking of saving my money for the mirror shield. Because I knew I could find the Erdrick sword. Now dragons now these kiss dragons are two hit kills. That's amazing. Yeah, okay, we're almost there. Come on. This isn't a looping hallway, is it? Oh. Um, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Radiant. Oh, is this a looping hallway? It is a looping hallway, okay. Lately, a supporting tank have been uh, tied since no one... Oh, I thought... Uh, I thought you sent another message. It kind of looked like it popped up with a new one. Never mind. Okay, Master Wizards are still a two-hit KO. Maybe it's a range. Maybe one more level will do it. Here we go. Now I think we're on the right path. We go straight to the right. There's nothing else in this room. It's a big room though. And here we go. The final room, there's the Dragon Lord. But before we fight the Dragon... Well, we're not going to fight the Dragon Lord. Again, going for treasure. Look at all that. Look at all that treasure. Use up a magic key. We found a cursed belt. Let's see. We found a magic nut. Let's grab that. We, my MP increased by five. All right. Medicinal herb, but I can't hold any more. That's fine. It's not a big deal. We found 417 gold. Nothing in that chest. What a rip off. We found a magic key to replace the one I used. Nothing in here. 503 gold. And a Wing of Chimera. Basically a free return. In case I need to get out of here. Hades Knights. Yeah, we're fighting like the toughest enemies down here. And they have heal more. How fun. Ugh. Uh, one more hit and then I need to heal more. Granted, he's probably a three-hit KO, but I need to... Yeah. Ugh, dang it. All right, basically back to start more of this. Yeah, three-hit KO. Good to know. I will also cast heal more again. Yeah, I wasted too much of my magic. Definitely not fighting the Dragon Lord right now. Like I said, treasure run. Treasure run, EXP run. Darth Dragon? Darth Dragon, okay. I did not know that's what they were called. Again, I think these are just called Red Dragons. Alright, I know there's, I'm pretty sure there's more treasure here. This isn't that bad. Oh no, stop spell did not work. Alright. Uh anything up here? Nope, dead end. Oh, I got a crit. I thought there was another treasure here. 
Molly, what are you doing? Being weird? The dog's being weird. Yeah, you are. All right. Okay, I thought there was more treasure. There isn't. At least nothing I need, anyway. Let's leave. Alright, might as well... Molly, what are you doing? You're being weird. Just get, eat your bone. Okay. Um... I can go and buy magic keys now. It's not a big deal. Yeah, let's go back to Rimduhar and buy some magic keys. Just to restock. And I can also sell a couple things, I think? I mean, I don't have to sell them in this town, but... I should have the money to go buy a mirror shield, and we're going to definitely do that. Alright. Uh, do I do... Do I use Repel? <sighs> nah. No. Every XP helps. You can see we, we made it all the way to the Dragon Lord. So we're almost there. Hey, Gaming with Peppers. How's it going? Uh, we made it to the Dragon Lord. On my first attempt through the castle, I managed to get, well, all the important treasures that I need. So I left so I can restock and go buy, like, the mirror shield and stuff. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show the achievements that I got here in a sec. For now, I'm just restocking on magic keys. What's been going on? Uh, I tried streaming Friday and yesterday, but the stream kept crashing, and it kept crashing today until I reset the Wi-Fi, so it seems to work now. Let's restock on magic keys. You're still lurking. Ah, oh, it's all good, Hawkorn Dog. It's all good. Do what you need to do. Uh, okay, first let's use a Winnie Chimera and head back. Alright. I want to... Let's go in here first. Give me a second. Alright, hold on. So for another thing we can do, apparently, let's equip the curse bell. Clamps itself onto Scottbot's body. You were cursed! I don't know what it does, but we're cursed. Cursed individual, be gone! Wait, hold on. They just kicked me out? Oh my god, they actually kick you out. That's hilarious. I never knew that. I never bothered to equip it. That's like extra dialogue. But yeah, see? Equip the curse bow and go to the castle before killing the Dragon Lord. I didn't know that one. Yeah, sometimes some achievements are just there, so it could give you some extra dialogue that you probably wouldn't never see. Replay Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Very nice, and what'd you think of it? Oh, you replayed, right. 
Uh, so some spell, undo a curse. What? You've been affected by a terrible curse. Allow me to remove it. Now you should be fine. Okay, good. It really just is for extra dialogue, isn't it? I Again, I did not know that they w just won't let you back in the castle. Alright, let's go deposit a couple things. I don't need this token of Erdrick. Not anymore. Might as well throw in the curse belt. It's not hurting anything. Uh, no. Actually, just a pl- <sighs> No, I'm probably gonna make it fine. Alright, I am also going to sell the silver sword, because I don't need it anymore. Or the steel sword, my bad. 750 gold. There we go. Alright. Let's get my MP back at the castle, and then we're gonna go all the way to the other town and buy a mirror shield. The first time you equip a curse item, they would kick you out. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, exactly. I never knew that. I know there's not much to this game, but what is there is kinda charming, you know? Let's go back to the other town and let's go and buy a go buy some armor. We do have Erdrick's sword though. So we have the best sword in the game, but I, I'm still gonna buy a flame sword. We, we will need it. We gotta get all the way back to town. Yeah, let's just spam. Repels. If I'm gonna level ground, I'm going back into the castle. Let's go into later dungeons. I think one is a co cozy game to grind. Yeah, I know. Like, when I think about Dragon Quest 1 and 2, I say objectively 2 is a better game, but then if you were to ask me which one I would rather pick up and play, I think I rather I would say Dragon Quest 1. It is very simple, but it's in that cozy kind of simple. And it helps that the game's not that long. You can literally beat this in an afternoon if you are dedicated enough and you have enough time. Well, not the NES version, but, you know. But yeah, you can just beat this in an afternoon. And that's what makes it a... That's what helps. If this was... If this game was any longer, then I think the simpleness of the game would just hinder it. But it, it, it helps with how short this game actually is. No, I really do like Dragon Quest 1 in that way. But objectively, 2 is the better game. Objectively. It just takes what it did here and just expands. And then three, you know, does even better, you know. I don't need repel. The enemies are too strong to repel anyway. Okay, and there we go. How much gold do I currently have? Okay, I'm just gonna grab it all. Alright. Withdrawal. Uh, gold. I have 7,000. Just grab it all. There we go. On one of my playthroughs of three that I started on the Switch at one point, I was trying to do a, like, pretty much gadabout run. I did not get far <laughs> before I just kind of played something else. Weapon shop. All right. Let's buy the mirror shield. The best shield in the game. 
we shall equip it. And that, that right there is an achievement. Uh, where is it? There it is. Purchase the silver shield, or the mirror shield, whatever it is. But yeah, purchase that. There is no Erdrick shield. Which, honestly, it throws me off that there's no Erdrick shield. You'd think there would be. And I don't have enough for a flame sword. Oh, wait. Uh, let's sell... The iron shield. Still not enough. Right, I'm gonna restock on my magic key. Alright. Now I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Let's head back to Tentacle. Because it was convenient and the older games would be rare. Yeah, I get that. Like, even though I don't like the visuals of the Switch versions, aka the mobile versions, it is convenient. It's convenient that it's there in the first place. So it has that going for it. Five thousand. Alright, I am going to get my MP back, and I guess I'll make a save. Now, let me double check on what I need to do. Okay. We go for that one right now. Of course, I hate it when NPCs block my path. Get my MP. There's only five more achievements to get for this game. We can go get one right now. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on. Well, five more achievements for Dragon Quest One, anyway. Let's make a say. Oh, I'm so close to level twenty. Let's go back to the castle, and let's go basically level grind. We're just going to head all the way down to the Dragon Lord, and just gather as much money and EXP that I can get. Now, I could use my Repel spell just to make it easier, but... Honestly, I don't want to spend the MP, and I don't want to spend the gold in the inn, in Rimdal. But you could do that. I just don't want to. Forty XP, four gold. Hi, Molly. What? You are? You, are you wanting attention? Are you needy? Are you being needy? You're being needy. Okay, hold on. I'm here. So needy. Luckily, I can play this with one hand right now. Yes, I know. So convenient. Mm -hmm. My dog wants attention. What? What is it? You're just so needy right now. Yes. You okay? Yeah, and the older games would be rare. Well, if you're talking about, like, the NES versions, Dragon Quest 1 is very easy to find. The others, yeah, I understand if you're talking about the NES versions. And I'm not sure how much the Game Boy Color versions of 1, 2, and 3 are going for right now. Should double check. Right, Molly? Mm hmm. Yes. You know what? I might look and see what prices are, right? I should do that. Not much going on. What type of peppers? I know. Uh, that's a good question. What type of peppers are you gaming with? Hi. Are they ghost peppers? 
chili. Where's your bone? Did you eat? Did you finish your bone? cast heal more. I'm like, why didn't he die in two hits? Heal more. That's why. How much gold do I have? Not much. Yeah. Right now, just level grind. And pepper shakers as the common. Ah. So black pepper, basically. <laughs> oh, you still have your bone. Eat your bone. Okay, here we go. Time to basically level grind and money grind right now. I'm gonna save up for the flame sword. And normally I don't need it right now, but for an achievement, I will need it. At least green dragons are one-hit kills now. You know what? I'm gonna look up what some of the older games are going for right now. Level 20. Strength by f increased by 5. Speed increased by 2. Vitality increased by 1. HP by 8 and MP by 12. A spicy person, but you know... <laughs> Black... Okay. Uh, let's see. No, I said Dragon Warrior, not Dragon Ball. What are you talking about? Okay. NES Dragon Warrior, a loose copy is like seven bucks. I am not surprised. We're just going to look through like one through four right now. Or one through three. So yeah, NES copy of Dragon Warrior, very easy to get still. Oh. Uh, nope, come on. One step. There we go. Dragon Warrior 1 and 2 for the Game Boy Color. Apparently a loose copy is like 45 bucks. I When I bought that game like 10 years ago, it was like 20. Jeez, but COVID messed with a lot of this. Dragon Warrior 2 on the NES is basically 60 bucks for a loose copy. Dragon Warrior 3 on the Game Boy Color is 52 bucks for a loose copy. Again, I paid around 20 to 30, I think. Like 10 years ago. Scalpers and game collectors. And COVID! That would do it too. <laughs> that did it too. Okay, Dragon Warrior 3 on the NES is $92 for a loose copy. Yeah, so other than Dragon Quest 1 on the NES, actually, you're still better off getting the Game Boy Color versions of both of them, of both Dragon Warrior 3 and the combo of 1 and 2 if you're trying to get the older versions and save a little bit of money. Because, yeah, NES Dragon Warrior is 7 bucks, but honestly, just getting Dragon Warrior 1 and 2 is cheaper than buying Dragon Warrior 2 on the NES. Yeah, that's how much prices went up. What, uh, what's... I know 4 is expensive on the NES. Dragon Warrior 4 on the NES is 110 bucks for a loose copy. I knew that was the mo one of the more expensive ones. Yeah. You play Dragon Quest? I want to know if it's good. It is good. Out of the, out of the Urgic trilogy, it is the best one. Without spoiling, it is the best one, especially when you consider it back in, you know, back in the '80s. Honestly, 
when I recommend Dragon Quest games, depending on the type of person that I'm talking to, I would recommend Dragon Quest 3 as like a starting game for the Dragon Quest series, depending on like how early you want to start, you know? Like I still, I do recommend 3 as a good starting point because it is a solid game. Especially for the NES. Although I think if you play any other version other than the NES, it's slightly better because the whole... They increase the EXP and gold you get. Kind of like they did with uh, with 1 and 2 here. So yeah, no, 3 is a good game. And hell, like, the mobile slash Switch versions, I will also recommend. Because, honestly, the visuals don't look that bad. I don't like the visuals of 1 and 2 mobile, but I'm okay with the visuals of 3 mobile. Let alone, whenever we do get that Dragon Quest 3 remake, that's going to be in the Octopath style. Whenever that comes out, that's going to be amazing. But yeah, I recommend playing 3. You're gonna get the remake of three. Still want to know where it, uh, when we're gonna get it. We still know. We still don't know what's going on with it. Although from when I, I did a little bit of research like, sometime last week, and the little research that I found was apparently late last year. I guess the creator said they're doing playtesting. So maybe we'll see it this year. Maybe. I I don't want to make any promises. Okay. How much gold do I have? Yeah, I need another three thousand. No, drag the switch version and the dr and the mobile version are the same one. But it, it's the same game, but it the Switch and the mobile version are the same version. Which they're kind of based on the Super Nintendo version, so, yeah. It's not, it's not an NES ROM, if that's what you're asking. It's like they took the Super Nintendo as the... It's like they took this game as the base, and then just made a new sprite for the hero for mobile and that's what the mobile and switch versions are i'm pretty sure it's very cheap to get on mobile and switch like four bucks at most i know it's very cheap Yeah, the, o the only way that I know to play the original Dragon Quest 1 NES version with with the less EXP and gold and all that is to actually play on original hardware. That got lucky as a sale. Yeah, uh, when I bought Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 on Switch, I did wait for sales. And I think I even waited till I had enough gold coins, at least with 1 and 2, on Switch. So I didn't really spend money on them. Man, those games rarely, rarely go on sale. But when they do, I was able to use my gold coins on them. I at least did that with 1 and 2. Because I did not like the visuals. But I still wanted to play the game, you know. Alright, how much gold do I have? Okay, we're just gonna spend time level grinding here. And... Level and money grinding. Although if I really wanted money, I'd just go find gold golems. So I have 5,000 gold in storage. I need basically another 5,000.
Yeah, we're gonna be here for a little bit. Alright. These guys still take like three hits. They just have a lot of HP. Yeah. Yeah, normally around level 20 is when you can beat the Dragon Lord. You know, with all the best equipment. Yeah, we're getting close. So maybe another eight fights? At no. Yeah, maybe another eight fights or less. That should be enough. I hope you at least enjoy the background noise from what's there, because when it's level grinding, that's all I can really offer. Uh, what do we got else for prices? Not much. And I know those DS versions of 4, 5, and 6 are very spendy, too. By the way, Dragon Warrior 7 on the, on the PlayStation... For a complete in-box, it is currently going for, like, 75. It's a little ridiculous. I remember even, like, five years ago before COVID, Dragon Quest VII was going for, uh, was going for, like, 40 bucks for a complete. Sprites in the game are okay from each version. Yeah, the battle art is good. I just don't like how the hero looks. <laughs> it looks bad. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to... Add a couple more battles. Let's see... Oh yeah, I forgot. In Japan, they had a 25th anniversary collection of 1, 2, and 3 on the Wii. Uh, it actually had both the NES versions and the Super Nintendo versions. So in a way, there's six games, but it's still 1, 2, and 3. But that was Japan only. Oh, we got to level 21. Strength increased by 3, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 11, and MP by 7. How much gold do I have? Alright. Now let's see. Looking for mainline stuff. Just kill, kill the time right now. Uh, no, that's Super Famicom. Oh, wow. If you wanted to get a complete inbox Super Famicom of Dragon Quest 1 and 2, you know, Japanese import, a complete inbox is 40 bucks. Oh, jeez. A loose copy of Dragon Quest 2 on the Famicom is 5 bucks, and a loose one of 3 on the Famicom is like 7 bucks. Prices are insane here in America. A, f a complete copy of Dragon Quest 3 on the Super Famicom is like 35. But no, I'm gonna pay the the 70 bucks for the American copy, right? <laughs> uh, okay, Dragon Quest 4 on the D. Oh no, that's the Japanese version. I want to find the English version. Wait, do I have the gold? I do. Alright. Because I just leveled up, let's get out of here. Yeah, okay, so DS version of Dragon Quest IV. A complete copy, you know, game and box and manual, is a hundred bucks. A loose copy is like sixty-five. There's the character and art. And artwork is is in the Switch version. 
as the extra stuff. Right, you kind of, I do kind of wish they added like all the official artwork and stuff. That actually makes me think, I do have like the artwork of the Dragon Quest games. Like there's a art book of, of like all of Toriyama stuff. Actually, hold on, let me, let me grab that. Hold on. You can grab that. Molly, no, you're fine. All right, so yeah, the uh, yeah, there's this uh, art book that uh, that you can get. And it has like all like official artwork and stuff. I think it goes up to ten because I don't think eleven was out yet. Hold on. Yeah, it eleven wasn't out yet, so it covers like. Artwork from actually covers builders a bit too, and heroes. Just a couple of the spin-off ones, but yeah, yeah, official artwork for thirty-two doubloons. Honestly, uh, I think that one was that book is like thirty bucks or something. It's not bad. I like collecting like these like art books and stuff when I can. Yeah, what's Dragon Quest IX going for now? Uh, complete in box is like 45 bucks. I paid 20 for that, <laughs> like 10 years ago. Uh, prices have inflated a lot. Uh, what else do we got? No, let's skip. Let's skip the monster suit side series. All right, here we go. Dragon Quest V. Uh, DS version. Here we go. Oh, this saddens me. <laughs> A complete copy of the DS version of Dragon Quest V apparently is going for like 190 bucks. It's crazy. Crazy we don't have 10 in the West. Yeah, uh... We're supposed to be getting 10 offline, but I don't really know what's going on there. At least I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be getting 10 offline. But let's be honest, it kind of made sense why we didn't get it in the first place. It was an MMO on the Wii, you know? I don't, and that was at the time when Dragon Quest didn't really, was still kind of not that popular in America. Honestly, I think it was around 11 when it kind of picked up. You should have gotten 250. That's a steal, I know. Yeah, I know. Dragon Quest V. Great game, but I a loose copy is 130. How much is the Japanese PS2 version? Yeah, look, Japanese PS2 version, a complete copy is like 20 bucks of Dragon Quest V. Japanese complete copy of five on the DS is 30 bucks. Yeah. What's six going for? In it? Oh, Metal Slime. And it ran. Six is going... Okay, six is a little bit less. A complete copy of six is 110. How's that compare to... Japanese version? Yeah, Japanese DS copy of 6 is 25 bucks for a complete. Just saying these differences in prices from Japan Japanese versus American version is, like, very drastic. Granted, a lot of Dragon Quest games just didn't sell well, and they didn't either didn't make that many copies or, you know... Actually, that's mostly it. They didn't really make that many copies. And now that Dragon Quest is more popular now, more people want to play them and collectors and all that. Okay, 7DS. I do actually have this. 60 bucks for a complete copy. That's still around the pro. No, it was. Did I pay 40 or 60 bucks new? 
How much were 3DS games when they were new? 40 bucks each? Okay, so I think it went up by 20, but that's still not the worst. Like, it could be better, but it's not the worst. Let's just grab everything. Let's see. Eight on the DS. I know eight's not that bad. Okay, eight on the D on eight. Eight on the 3DS is currently, for a complete copy, 93 bucks. Luckily, I have that version, too. Right, let's buy the Flame Sword. Produce a special effect when using battle. I think it's just Fireball, not even Firebane. And I will not equip it right now. But I know I'm going to need it. See, look. It's like a difference of eight attack power. But I will need it. I'm gonna buy a magic key. Just to restock. Oh, I need to restock on two. That's fine. Uh, how many items do I have? Okay, you know what? I thought I more of my item sh slots would have been taken. Let's get the Dragon Scale back, basically. It's an extra two defense. It's not much, but two defense is two defense. All right, let's go and go back to the castle. Oh, yeah, D uh, 3DS version of Dragon Quest VIII, 95 bucks for a complete copy. Versus if you were to get an English copy of the PS2 version. PS2 version is 27 bucks for a complete copy. That's about what I paid for. The PS2 version can is arguably the better version. Well, it can be. Because the 3DS version... Not as good frame rate, even though it acts, adds extra stuff. Not as good frame rate and uh, doesn't have the orchestrated music. If only we could get a combination of the two. All the extra stuff from 8 3DS, but with better frame rate and... Uh, actually, hold on, there's one thing I'm going to do before I save. Better frame rate and all the extra stuff and the orchestrated soundtrack. If only we could have that. But you know, at least the PS2 version of 8 is actually reasonably priced still. So there is a decent way to play 8. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do. I am going to withdraw my magic armor. Just to hold on to it right now. Might as well deposit my gold, because it's not going to do anything. Alright. Now I'm going to go save. Yeah, I want to have these two in my inventory. Right. Get, get down here. Is that it? That's about it. Okay, yeah, 10 offline does exist in Japan. Still waiting for it to come to America. I think it's supposed to. It's supposed to come to America. We just haven't gotten it yet. Oh, if you wanted to play 11 on the PS4, that's not the definitive edition. A complete copy is like 13 bucks. <laughs> All right, gonna make a save. I just save on the first one. So I'm level 21 now. I already made the save. Let's go to the Dragon Lord for another achievement. If you played Dragon Quest 1 before, you should know what this is. Alright. Off to the Dragon Lord! 
How many achievements do I need left for Dragon Quest 1? It's just the five? It's just five right now. We're going to get one at the moment. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get back to the castle, but... If only there was a way to recover MP mid-battle with, like, a magic water. But they didn't have magic waters yet. Come on. Do I want to use repels? At this point, no, I think we're close to the cave. Yeah, we're almost done with Dragon Quest 1. It really depends on how long the Dragon Lord is going to take, honestly. That will make a difference. Because we're going to go for two achievements when we fight the Dragon Lord himself. Actually, we'll get three at three at a time. Now I think about it. Come on, where is it? There's the wall. There we go. Kind of annoying to just fumble in the dark there, but at least it's a straight shot, more or less. when you get a crit when it KOs ma uh, magic chimeras uh, like maybe one more level and they can just naturally be a one hit KO but no that's not how it works um, uh, what is silver, silver shroud I think you told me but remind me Silver Shroud. There we go. I said it right without, you know. Anyway. I, again, I think you told me what that run is, but I'm forgetting at the moment. I'm... I don't think we'll get to level 22 when we get to the Dragon Lord and that. That's both a good and a bad thing. Well, we'll see. Uh, no, I didn't check the square. It's exactly in the center. Dress up as a silver shroud. And use a silver submachine gun. Decide to add... So, you're just disguising yourself as this particular character or group? It, does that lead to one of the endings, or is it just something for fun? a fictional superhero. Ah, uh, okay. So it's not a... It does. It sounds like it doesn't lead to a particular ending, but it's almost like a type of armor that you get.
Wait, were they one hit KOs? Or is it a range? What's going on? Might have been a range. It's just for fun. You also get extra dialogue as the character in some situations. That's kind of funny. Yeah, when you said when you said Silver Shroud run, I thought it was like an extra route or something. Are you able to get it like as soon as you boot the game up, more or less, so you can play basically the entire game as the Silver Shroud? Two hit KOs for blue dragons. I'm pretty sure red dragons are still three hit KOs. Wait, was this the dead end? Yeah, that's the dead end. Wrong path. See, just after like a couple levels, this dungeon isn't that bad. This is why I usually do like one run to gather treasure and then leave. That way I keep my experience, and usually by then I have, I'm around level 20. And if you have Urdric's sword, it makes things a lot easier. And the armor. So are you going to play the entire game as this Silver Shroud? You can run straight towards the location where the clothes are at. You didn't do that since you did some setup, but not. But you're not the shroud. Hmm. But now you're the shroud. Okay. Uh, south. Yeah, there we go. And do you get, like, exclusive weapon as well as the character, or is it just armor? Also, is the armor any good? Or is it more of a cosmetic thing? Like, you could wear any armor, but you could equip it as a cosmetic. Because I kind of like it when games make cosmetics like an option. Where it's like, sometimes some games will make the cosmetic armor, like, very weak. Or it's like, you get it, but it's like, you know, I can only use this armor for a little bit before I'm outclassed by a different armor set. So why would I ever equip it, you know? That's why I kind of like the cosmetics being a separate equipable thing. Kind of like what, kind of like what the Tales games kind of does. Although, Tales of Symphonia's costumes are uh, not the best way to handle it. But later Tales games makes it to where it's just a separate thing you can equip. Because I think Drag, oh, we got, we made it to level twenty-two. I think Dragon Quest XI has an armor set to make you look like the Dragon Quest VIII Pro Tag, but it's an actual armor. So you can really only use it for the beginning of the game before you get better stuff. The costume sucks, but if you do its quest where you roleplay as the character, a guy lo who he loves the show, he'll upgrade the clothes to be pretty good and gives it a legendary effect to, like, Take less damage from humans. Okay, so there is a way to at least power it up. But it's still probably going to be outclassed by other armor. But at least you can make it better. Oh, wow. Hades Knights are now two hit KOs. That's nice. All 
All right. Gonna, gonna uh, we're gonna confront the dragon lord now. Your head shall be mine. I shall get back the bowl of light and save the world. But first, I gotta get past this master wizard. Almost there. Ooh, red dragons. But I got a crit, so it's a one-hit KO. Once you beat the quest at a certain at certain levels, he'll increase the protection of the costume twice. Should be on par with full sets of armor at the second time. Oh, okay, that's nice. At least you could play the basically play the entire game with that armor. And still be able to be on par. With late game stuff. That's nice. Alright. Nope. Not yet. <laughs> Still gotta fight another red dragon. Yeah, three hit KO. Alright. You so you have come, Scott. I am the king of king of kings. I am King Dragon. I have been waiting for you. So you have so you're the young man to, destined to arrive. If you want to be my ally, I'll give you half the world, Scottbot. What do you say? Won't you be my ally? You know what? You make a good argument. I will take half the world. Wonderful! Then to complete our alliance, I will take that sword. Sure. For half the world, sure. Present the sword of Roto to King Dragon. At last, I've obtained the sword. It's been in your castle the entire time, dude. Why didn't you go looking for it? Though it doesn't matter what weapon you wield. Well then, receive my gift. I give you half... The world of darkness, Scott Bot. <laughs> it appears you had a nightmare last night. Must have been quite the dream. Well then, please take care and come again. But I still have the sword of Roto. Hmm. But I'm in the Lemon doll. Huh. Huh. Wait. Normally, when you do that, it makes you reset the game. Well, hold on. There, uh. Here, let me refresh. See? Uh, no, that's the first belt one. Uh, accept King Dragon's offer and rule half the world of darkness. I was the chosen one. Alright. Uh, shut that off. Normally, it says you rule half the world, and then you have to reset your save. Because you failed being the, being the hero. You joined the dark side. I don't know if this, this is a Super Nintendo change. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, no, that's right. I don't know if this is a Super Nint Nintendo change or if this is a mod, like some sort of mod of this pa of this English version or something. Hold on, is there a second thing? No. It seems like nothing bad happened. Yeah, either way. Well, one benefit is that we get to keep our level. Alright. Well, now that we did that, let's go back to the castle then. Mostly to save. Because I want to keep that level. Alright. 
I'm for, I thought for sure the Switch version even did the same thing. Where it makes you reset your save. You have returned. I'm delighted. Okay. It is just a dream, apparently. Yeah, armor, sword, mirror shield. Yeah, everything's here. It magic key, flame sword, magic armor. Yeah, everything's fine. Sword of Rotel. Yep. I was just double checking and be like, wait a minute. No, everything's right. Well, that saves time a little bit. All right, now that I made a save, and I'm level 22, so now I'm stronger, now we'll actually go fight the Dragon Lord. But first, there is one other matter that must be completed. I think it will be best to... cast some repels for a little bit. We are going to head back to Rimdahl, which I just, I don't, I could have just continued from there, but I wanted to make the save. Shiver Shroud is a dude, but like more than half of the human enemies are dudes. And with the Black Widow perk, do like 15% more damage to men. Ah, I see. And if they need help, grab your submachine gun. Oh, are submachine guns not good in Fallout? But right now we got like four achievements to go. Right. Now let's see. I think we want to take. Actually, I think we want to go back up. Actually, no. I think this path's fine. Doesn't have a legendary effect. Oh, so the armor may be good, but the weapon it's but the weapon itself isn't. So is it still a harder run because of that? Oh no, he got this he got the sneak attack on me. He dealt one damage to me. Okay, I took the wrong turn. Well, I thought I it is a good thing that they uh changed the change it to where it's just a dream that I took over half of the world. So now I don't have to reset the save. So apparently in You're on yourself to some this revolver. One of the best pistols in the game. Oh, so you don't have to use the submachine gun. Okay. Um let's actually save the princess this time. For good this time, when the when Green Dragon should only be like a one hit KO. Okay, two hit KO. Three. Oh, is this a stronger dragon? Must be a stronger than a normal dragon. Anyway, Valiant he Hero, we have saved the princess. Yes, I will escort you back to the castle. Later. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh But yeah, normally I w because I saved beforehand, I was going to like Okay, wait. And now I remember my train of thought. So if you play Dragon Quest Builders 1, that game takes place after Dragon Quest 1, but in the bad timeline where the hero decided to join the Dragon Lord. So Dragon Quest Builders World is just this game's world, but like in a bad future. It's kind of funny that they did that. 
I think it's implied that in the NES version, or just any other version than this, I think it's implied that the Dragon King, Dragon Lord actually just kills you. You give him, uh, you agree to join him. You give him your so the sword of the hero, and then he just kills you. You were foolish to join the villain's side. He was never going to give you half of the world. At least I think. I think that's how it went. Uh, while we're here, let's heal up at the end, because I don't want to take the trip all the way back to the castle. Mm, I guess I'll restock on the magic keys. It's not a big deal. Right. I basically just uh, stayed at the end just so I could get my MP back. Oh, that was really the only reason. Alright. Restocked on magic keys. Now we're going for the Dragon Lord. With the princess in hand! We shall take her with us to the Dragon Lord! Hopefully, we should get the last two done. But there is a reason why I saved before grabbing the princess. Because if we die to the Dragon Lord, I don't know how it's going to treat uh, the princess. Because we'll stop, start back at the castle if we die. And I don't know if they'll just automatically return the princess back. So that's why I made a save. So if it turns out I need a little, like another level or something, I can reset the save. Then just grind for another level or something. Luckily, there is not an achievement to get to max level, which is like level 30. That'd be kind of ridiculous. And not needed at all. Princess is just like, wait, I thought you were taking me back to the castle. I am taking you back to the castle. I'm delivering you to the Dragon Lord myself. <laughs> it's either that or the hero just really wants the princess to watch uh, the hero kill the Dragon Lord. Be like, watch me slay the dragon. Hopefully, we only need to go through this castle one last time. Hopefully. gonna take a little bit before we get back but with the sword of Roto in hand and the and the armor of Roto on my body this is not that hard at all oh, come on I almost wish I could use repel but I need to save the MP trust me you want to save the MP Yeah. I mean, it's okay to use, like, one Radiant. That's fine. Two MP is not going to mean much. But, yeah. Other than that, you still want to save MP. Unless you really want to stumble around the darkness of this dungeon. I don't think anyone would want to suffer through that. I guess the alternative is to buy a torch. 
that would be the alternative. You get less light, but you don't spend MP. I don't know. For 2 MP, that's not a big deal. get my full heal back. Right. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last time we need to go through the castle. Yeah, two KOs. Actually, thinking about it, even if I lose and the princess is delivered back, it doesn't matter. Okay. I guess it really doesn't matter. Ah, level 23. Strength increased by 2, speed by 3, vitality by 2, max HP by 7, and MP by 6. Too bad I don't really get to utilize that MP boost, but eh, what do you do? At least I get to utilize the HP boost and everything else. I think I can handle the Dragon Lord now at level 23. With the equipment I have now, I'm, I think I'm technically over leveled. We'll see. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Down and to the right. We're almost there. Oh no! Windows noises on my laptop. Is the volume up? It was. Huh. I just don't have the audio playing on on my laptop for like the stream side. So I was actually kind of shocked. Hopefully I could take down the dragon lord. Alright. Molly, you're fine. You're fine. I think Hades Knights are two hit KOs now, guaranteed. Yeah. Red dragons are the ones that are still three hit KOs. Okay, here we go. See, Dragon Lord, you know, I know you said that you were gonna offer me half the world, and you know what? I think that it was just a weird dream. Let's try this again, but this time to make uh to make it better. I brought the princess with me. <laughs> See, now you have to give me half of the world. All right, Molly. Hey. 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 You're okay. She's being very needy right now. Yes, you are. Down. Down. What? Hey, down. Almost there. I will probably end up using my medicinal herbs to heal up before the fight. 
If I need to, anyway. I think 176 or 8 is my max. 79, okay. Almost there. See, Dragon Lord, let, let's try this again. I want half the world, and you know, to make the, make it even, you know, a, a better deal, I'm, I'm giving you the princess. Alright. Before we talk to him, I'm gonna use my medicinal herbs. So, one of the achievements to beat, uh, to get is we need to defeat the Dragon Lord without the Sword of Erdrick and the Armor of Erdrick. So that's why I had to have the Flame Sword and the Magic Armor. So this is going to be a little bit harder. So you've come, Scott. Oh, and what's this? The princess? What an un unexpected treat. I am the king of kings. The oh, so it was just a little extra dialogue. But it's cool that he does have the extra dialogue. Won't you be my ally? No! What? You don't want half the world? How disappointing. Would you like to reconsider? No. Well then, by all means, try to defeat me. Foolish mortal, you will realize what true suffering is. So before we actually do the fight. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Bring the princess to King Dragon. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is the missable one. The only other missable one for the princess is the sleep with two other people. So I guess what you could do instead, now that I know that it will, if you accept his offer, it will just bring you back to Ratat not Ratatome, but Grimdahl. If I were to do this again, I won't. But if I were to do this again, I don't know if it's Super Nintendo version specifically or this mod or something. Get the princess take her to the well take care of this grab the princess take care of this bring her to the dragon lord accept his offer so that way you get the achievement for bringing her to the dragon lord accept his offer so that way you get this one done too you'll be brought back to the inn then you can send her you could go back to the castle and get the princess's love so, I guess that's how I would recommend hand handling that one. Anyway, <clears throat> now for the Dragon Lord. We're only using our MP to heal. Oh no, he has heal more. That's not annoying whatsoever. 35 damage. That's... That's not good. I'm gonna need to use one more soon. Uh, one more. The Dragon Lord has been defeated! Uh, that's a messed up text box. You have the world of darkness. Now your journey is over. Get some rest. <laughs> Something's wrong with that text, I'm bet. Alright, the Dragon Lord's second form. I need to heal. Ow. 70 damage. Okay. Heal more. 17 damage. Okay. I think it was his physical attack that did 70 damage. Oh my god. One HP! Oh my. Okay, I can do another physical attack. Now I need to heal. Um. 
I think I got attacked. Okay. Heal. There we go. That was kind of risky. Ah, oh, dang it. The speed. Not the speed. I could have... I, I would have made it if I went faster. Give you another chance. Yeah. Uh, sure. I am level 23 now. Dang it. I don't have the princess. I guess I gotta go recruit her. Well, I don't have to. Well, let's equip my sword and shield back. Or sword and armor. You only need... You only need to... Grab it. Uh, you only need to swap the sword and armor for the actual fight itself. How much gold do I have? Okay. Okay, so apparently when you die, the princess just goes back to... Uh, <laughs> she just goes back to being captured, I guess. At least I think so. Oh, let's see if that's actually the case. <coughs> I guess we'll go save her again. <coughs> this summon machine gun, that's one of the best guns in the game since it has a legendary effect. Explosive. Every bullet is explosive basically and it scales with two perks instead of one. That sounds very useful. It does. Oh, yeah, that sucked. I would have won. If it, if I, if I went faster on that one turn, well, I don't know if I would have won, but I would have healed myself, so I would have survived another round, at the very least. All right, let's try this again. Let's go save the princess. All right. They really should have thought about upgrading the silver submachine gun. Or is it just that submachine guns are just not that good? <coughs> so no matter what you do to upgrade it, it's not going to matter. Yeah, I, if I wasn't limited to the flame sword or the magic armor, I probably would have been okay, but... Uh, we gotta fight the dragon again. Okay, yeah, so... Definitely, if I had to do this again... Right when I'm at the point to say, uh, to fight the dragon lord... Go save the princess. Take care of the achievement at the end. Bring her to the Dragon Lord. And then you're good. You can then take her back to the castle. They just aren't good. It's why you should have a let it should have a legendary effect like the clothes. There's another superhero you can cosplay in the game. That's the legendary costume and legendary weapon as well. Is I'm assuming you can upgrade the other superhero armor. Can it is the weapon any good for that other hero armor? Gotta go through the castle again. But by the time we get through the castle, we might make it to the level 24. And maybe that will help. Because maybe I need to have a little bit more agility to guarantee to outspeed him. Maybe that's part of the problem.
I need my MP back, so I'm gonna go back to the inn, heal up. How many magic keys do I have? Two. I should also maybe consider buying more medicinal herbs just to get it back. I feel like I would have gotten that win, honestly. I should have gotten it. Traveling merchant, yeah, yeah. Let's restock on these. I can't hold anymore. All right, let's go my magic keys again, and then we're going to the castle again. Uh, I almost had it. Oh well. If we make it to level 23 on the way there, that will probably be fine. And again, I don't have to have the princess with me now. I could just take her back to the castle. Like, I've done all the achievements that require her. But, uh, I don't know. I have never done a run where I've actually beaten the game while uh, still carrying her. So I figured, eh, something different. That's going to take a bit. At least I have more MP now because of that level. So, if I never use it until the fight, I have more heal mores, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, my... Uh, yeah, let's see if we can make it to level 24 on the way there. Hmm... Almost to the castle. We made it to the final boss, but oh well. Hopefully, we can outspeed him next time on a clutch heal, right? I could have used heal more the turn before to play it safe. But based on how that turn went, what would have happened was I would have used healed more first, gone to full health, and that got hit again and probably got to around the same HP anyway. So it's like, is it worth healing at that point? I don't know. But it would have saved me, at least a little bit. Grognak the Barbarian. Okay. It is not good defense-wise, but it gives you two strength boosts and melee damage plus 25%. Okay, so it's a barbarian. You know, the barbarian build. Axe has a higher chance to stagger, unless you power attack, in which it always staggers. And it causes the enemies to bleed. Alright. Also has a hidden effect, where it costs less, less action points to use during vats. Hmm. So, it's not, so is the silver shroud like a more traditional type of armor where it's mostly just defenses and nothing too special? Whereas this other one is specifically, do you want to be a glass cannon sort of thing? And I'm guessing you still get some extra dialogue if you wear the barbarian armor, right? Oh, 
Oh, uh... First I ask, does the, is the shil silver shroud armor just a more traditional armor where it's really just defenses and nothing too special? And also, do you get extra dialogue if you wear the barbarian armor? Kind of like you do with wearing the silver shroud. Thinking about how hard this fight kind of is, I am worrying on how the final boss of two is going to go, knowing what one of the achievements is. Silver Shroud is just a very defensive armor. Yeah, traditional armor, basically. You only get extra dialogue for the Silver Shroud. Really? No dialogue for the Barbarian? That's kind of lame. Is there a way to power up the Barbarian armor? Like the Silver Shroud armor? Or is it what you see is what you get? Because I'm assuming, based on what you said... Uh... You said another superhero you can cosplay as, so I'm assuming it is a superhero within the Fallout universe that people would know. Kind of like the Silver Shroud, so that's why I asked about the extra dialogue. You'd think they would have had it. Alright, level 24. Strength by 4, speed by 4, vitality by 2, HP by 5, MP by 7. Hopefully this will do the trick. What you see is what you get. Oh. Uh, you could wear a helmet for extra protection, but not much else. Maybe glasses. Hmm. But is the armor as it is good, then? If you can't power it up, is it a good set of armor? I mean, I know it's meant to be a glass cannon build, but, you know... Almost there. Of course, it's so men's. Why can't it be the wizards when I can not take that much damage from them? There had to be one more counter. Should be good. Alright. Stone Man is defeated. Alright. First, we just an orb. Just herb. Yeah, that's 184 is about right. Equip, flame sword, and magic armor. Alright. Dragon scale, flame sword, magic armor. Alright, let's try it again. Nah, I won't take half of the world. You're gonna stab me in the back. Alright. 
Butter five percent extra melee damage is huge, and two strength is also big since your melee damage. Has yeah, yeah. The axe also can't be leveled up. It's already a pretty good melee weapon. It can take you through the whole game and DLCs. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know that uh, it can basically last you the entire game if you want to go glass cannon run. Right, we'll go one more attack. Let's heal up. And now, just in case, like, he, like, gets the first hit on me with, like, 70 damage. <sighs> I don't... Fine, I'll use it anymore. I did get the crit last time, so... Alright, let's try this again. Ooh, that, that hurt. Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm going for another heal more. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Heal more. Okay. Alright, let's go for another heal more. Okay, that, that's okay. That's good. I forget how much HP he actually has, but if I'm correct, in the original NES version, he actually doesn't have that much HP. He just keeps recovering. He just has a passive regen. So the fight ends up taking longer than normal. I think in every other version, they just gave him a bunch of HP and no regen. Uh, heal. I'm gonna heal. Okay, that was worth it. The demon, uh, the dragon lord has been defeated. Scarpot takes the ball of light from the dragon lord's hands. A dazzling light flowed out from all around, from all around from the ball of light. Peace returned to the world. So with that in mind, hold on. Let me show... We got defeat the dragon lord, and then defeat the dragon ward without being equipped with the sword or armor of Erdrick. And there's only one achievement left for Dragon Quest One, anyway. Now for the grind, not the no, we're not doing the grind. We don't need to do the grind. So at this point in the game, you can go to any any of the older towns, and they'll have something new to say. There's also no enemy encounters. And also all the poison swamps are now gone. Not that it matters. Again, not that it matters, but I'm equipping my normal stuff back. Uh, just to give an ex... Actually, no, I don't need... Let's just hit ret... Let's just use return. Alright. To give an example of what I mean... So if we talk to you... At last, you have defeated the King Dragon! Oh, now I feel it. Please, watch over this fresh new world! Once again, peace has returned to this land! Thank you very much. I can't believe it! You completely destroyed King Dragon! You are a true hero! What? Peace has returned? I'm such an idiot! That totally surprised me! Uh, thanks to you, peace has returned. Thank you very much. As you can see, not they kind of say this similar stuff. You truly are a great man. I wish you, I wish for just a bit that my husband could be like you. Oh, ow. 
Ouch. Actually, do, uh, what do you say? It's just like a dream. That piece has returned. And today, I don't feel like doing business. Truly, thank you very much. So, here's the thing. Like, you could talk to everyone, and they'll have something new to say, technically. But I've done this once before, where I've talked to everyone in every town. You'll see repeat dialogue. There isn't really much that I know of that would be that exclusive, so I'm just gonna move on. But yeah, it's just an idea, just to show that there is extra new dialogue. We just need to return back to the castle. Oh, Laura, you've returned safely. Someone get medical treatment for the princess. Huh. Never seen that. Oh, uh, okay, that's not right. <laughs> I guess that's a mess. Mess up dialogue. Oh, no. No! Of course there's gonna be issues. Why wouldn't there be? Uh... I, I don't know what you're saying, King. Oh, no. Uh... Sure, I'll take the princess with me. That was the last achievement. Reach the credits. That was disappointing end to it. When, you know, you can't read what he says. So, yeah, the last achievement for Dragon Quest 1 was basically just get to the end credits. Now, I know you couldn't... Cryptic dialogue, he's telling you how to summon the secret boss. Oh, no! <laughs> He's, he's telling you how to summon the ghost of Erdrick for a super final boss. You just need to decode his text. Um, so, normally, what he's supposed to be telling you at that point, whether you bring the princess there or you already returned her already, he's like, you saved, you saved the world. Why don't you become king of this land? You decline. Like, you don't get a choice. You decline and you say you want to start a kingdom somewhere else. And then the princess is like, oh, take me with you. If you try to dis uh, try to say no to the princess, she won't let you. She'll say, but thou must. So you take the princess with you to basically create a new kingdom in a different land. There is actually another ending. So here's the thing. You can beat the Dragon Lord and never save the princess. And invade this one, pretty much. But yeah, you can beat the Dragon Lord and never save the princess. If you do that, you go to the king, he's just like, You saved the world, but at what cost? My princess is still missing. It's a shame. And then I think you still go and... Uh, go and uh, form a new kingdom just without the princess. She is forever lost to presumed dead. But yeah. It is funny that this also, that this has a, basically, it almost has three endings. Basically, the normal ending, you've already saved the princess. The not-so-good ending where you save the world, but uh, you never save the princess, so she's presumed dead. Or the third ending, you take the invitation to the Dragon Lord and rule half the land. But that is all the achievements for Dragon Quest 1. I am going to pull that up. All of these right here were all for Dragon Quest 1. 28 out of 68 achievements, about 41%. The rest of the achievements here are for Dragon Quest 2. But we can do that next time. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. Couldn't they double check the castle? The princess wasn't in the castle. She was in the cave on the way to Rimdahl. She was in a completely separate location from 
the dragon lord so it's like yeah they don't know where she is if you don't save her yeah anyway so uh assuming we don't have any stream issues like the last couple attempts we'll be point we'll be starting dragon quest 2 i am going to do a skim through and see what what achievements could be done in certain orders that i need to keep an eye on but anyway we'll do that next time have a good day later